of uh, off of the hero and onto the druids of the town. And you see the demon hunter gets stunned here. He just, he just bought a potion and used it, and that works well. There you can see, I mean, these guys, these guys, another thing you pick up is how useful these guys use items. These guys use items incredibly usefully. Oh, man. This demon hunter stacked, but <laughs> that's going to work against him. You want to know why? Because the demon hunter's never really going to fight. And you can see uh, his soul's having to waste some, uh, waste a wisp there to deal with that ancient war. Though I don't think it actually costs any money to repair the entangled gold mine, because, uh, Angle one guy doesn't cost anything. Now this is interesting. Diddy's building ballistas, which I would think is a very bad idea. But he's also expanding in, which is really smart. <laughs> this is funny. He's building a he's building a tree of life down here. He's building a tree of life up here. That's funny. Uh, Soul seems to be doing a much better job of creeping the map, though. Uh, I think it's because he just had a much better start, and he's got a lot more units right now. Just doing a far better job of creeping. Just really working out for him. <laughs> Two angst. I'd say that's bad luck this game. What you really want is a book of the dead. And I hope the other guy doesn't forget to use his wisps. Another little tip. Wisps, they own de they own books of the dead. Should always I mean, one thing I think I'm gonna start doing these days is start building lots of wisps. And just use them whenever I go into combat against people. Because the game's so spellcrafter oriented, I'll just start nailing people with wisps. I might even buy a Zeppelin to carry him around in. I think that's one of the things I'm going to start doing. And you can see, uh, I think uh, this is going to work out bad. If, if he gets a couple Cyclones off, he'll just have to sit there and wait. Oh, man. Ouch. That Demon Hunter better TP out. <coughs> As you can see, he ain't going to get away from that. And he's going to get another guy stunned here. Yep. That's why, first Cyclone, never really go into a fight unless you're really ready to fight. <coughs> so there you go. This soul, he's a very preemptive entangler, which is really, in my opinion, very foolish. The way he should be doing it is trying to predict when the character will move, or wait until he moves, and or TPs. Now, TPing is a lot harder. I mean, really, you have to, to kind of really get lucky and guess well. But the running thing is very simple, in my opinion. Uh, he finally lost his, uh, tr <laughs> his age of war. <laughs> he forgot to eat some trees. This is very interesting, though. He's building a lot of ballistas. And I'm not really sure why, because I don't see how ballistas will win the battle for him at all. That's very, very interesting. One thing that's invaluable is force of nature in these battles. Trust me, summon units win these games. Like, I once faced this Drew to the Talon strat when I think it was versus Ghost... No. I can't remember. It was in the game fix uh, preliminaries during the uh, latter season for it. I faced a lot of these Drew to the Town players. And, uh... I love just using the Keeper of the Grove and Dryads, and, and that wouldn't work so bad, because he'd, he'd be forced to start spending Cyclone against against uh, both Tree Ants and Huntresses, and he'd run out of mana pretty fair, quickly, and, and if I could sneak a Wisp in, that'd really hurt him. Man, does a Wisp really hurt. I'd really be surprised if Diddy manages to come back from this game. I really would be. Priest of the Moon is probably invaluable in these situations, too. There you go, Treants. Hope he bought some Wands of Negation. Ah, he does have some Wands of Negation. I'm not sure how these Cyclones are going to work. He better TP out. Oh, he doesn't have a TP. This is going to get ugly. That's very, very interesting. He's not Cycloning. He's not Cycloning at all. All he's doing is Cycloning the heroes. He's getting absolutely pulverized. And if he TPs out, he's going to lose the heroes, too. Man. I'm not sure why he didn't Cyclone those Blisters. But they have Impaling Bolts, so they're going to do a ton of damage. If he Cycloned them, he would have won that battle easy. Very interesting. Maybe he felt his mana was... I don't know. I, yeah, I, I really got to disagree with that, because if he didn't lose that many guys... He would have easily been able to make it out. There you go, invulnerability. Always invaluable. <coughs> that is very, very interesting. I personally thought if he just ran in there cycloned all four of those blisters, he would have won, because Diddy had about five guys. 
Wow, now he's going ballistic. Maybe, maybe he thought it was a good idea. So, wow, this works out pretty well. Let me give this a shot. One thing I noticed is these guys, they don't upgrade the air damage on their Druze of the Talon. Which is very interesting to me. Because, I don't know, maybe you could surprise them with some air combination and, and get him early. I mean, Druze of the Talon, they don't, they don't do so good damage without being upgraded. Now, this is funny. Tree of Life's walking into the, this guy's base. <laughs> Whoops! I guess he's already got that one. One bonus, do you guess you get... See, now this isn't going to work. I think Diddy's going to go try to attack him. Oh, he's got some uh, ancient of War coming here. This isn't going to work out well for Diddy. He's fighting on a ledge. That's going to be ugly. Yep. This is going to hurt Diddy. He's really just in a bad combat situation. Yeah. Not good timing. Not much you can do in this situation. I guess the Blista's range just keeps them out of out of the Cyclone range pretty well. I'm not sure though. I really got to disagree with that. If you ask me, I don't, I don't know why he doesn't... I mean, that's 16 supply in Blistas. That's another 8 Druze of the Town. Why doesn't he just keep 8 in air form, drop them right behind Diddy's forces, Cyclone all his dudes? He's won the game. I mean, they're not utilizing the fact that Literally, this is this is the term that Kane came up with. I'll totally credit Kane with the first person of, of parachute strategies. Basically, Drews of the Town are paratroopers. You you lift them up, drop them down wherever you want. That's the strategy behind them. I mean, literally ten ten Drews of the Town can negate can negate five ballistas for what, like fifty seconds or something, thirty seconds. I'm not sure about the cyclone changes anymore, but it's long enough to keep them out of the battle. I know that for sure. Uh, I gotta disagree with the ballistas, really. <coughs> oh, ouch. He's gonna lose a base here. Yeah, I'm not sure why these guys are using ballistas. Very interesting, though. Personally, for those of you that might be considering using this strategy, I consider just building extra Jews of the town, flying them up, putting them behind the ballistas, because God knows there's no way the other guy's gonna be able to stop that. Landing them, and then cycloning all his stuff up. Now, yes, you would use some mana to do this, but it wouldn't really hurt you all that much. And it would work. See, the real problem, I think, is these blisters have the range long enough to stay behind the force. Now, you drop in even three or four guys, then you have sandwich action. Sandwich action is always great, because sandwich action ends games. If you put your Keeper of the Grove in a Zeppelin and you landed him too, you put up some tree ants behind their force, and then really the sandwich action kicks in. <laughs> now this makes me laugh. He's already got another Tree of Life and Ancient of War up above this ledge. This is just funny. One thing that's very interesting, though, is not much of the map has really been creeped. Which is surprising, considering how creeping based this game is. Ah. Uh, he, he found his ancients. There you can see, uh... You can see, uh... Soul is he's effectively using his, uh... Force of Nature is going to find some expansions here for scouting, which is really good. Yeah, I think uh, if you just use Master Druze of the Town and put in some good detonates, he'd easily be able to win. Oh, man. So I was going to lose a Ballista there. I really hate that. Nothing angers me more than creeps jacking your Ballistas when you're trying to push someone. I can guarantee no one's run into it more than me. And you can't use Ballistas to fight creeps. It doesn't work. It's so annoying. Look at this demon hunter, he's got four potions of healing and an egg. Where'd his second egg go? Oh, it's on his keeper of the grove. That's funny. One thing I'd do if I was these guys, I'd try to fast creep the, the islands. With piercing damage, you'd really much, I mean, I mean, in bird form, they'd own the drakes, that'd be a joke. And, it'd be very easy to get them there, you just put them in the air, you own the drakes, and you land your heroes, and you take out the granite, it worked out great. I think that they should personally do that, I mean, and what I do is I wouldn't even bring my keeper of the grove along. I'd only bring my tree, my priestess of the moon. Get the true shot R up. You get higher true shot R, you'll win the game off that. And I'm pretty sure the R doesn't disappear when you get cyclone, unless you get cyclone like three or four times in a row. So I really think it'd work. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs>